is relatively easy to create a dashboard on Adobe Analytics. So uh, if you are in the dashboard manager, you can see there are a lot of uh, dashboards created by you and my, my dashboards. And when you scroll down, uh, you can see the shared dashboards which are, were created by other people. Once you share the dashboard, uh, it will be public to everybody who has access to shared dashboards, which means everybody in the company. So uh, let's go back to the dashboard. Uh, suppose you're trying to add a new one here. Firstly, you need to give it a name. So I put a test training. Um, you don't need to actually dashboard. I mean, it doesn't make sense. So this one, if you want to display this dashboard as your landing page, you can check it. But otherwise, just leave those blank. And now we have a blank dashboard with the name. This page will refresh after you hit OK and then it will appear at the end of my dashboard. So let me just open another tab. All right. So this will be your blank dashboard. And this is the editing mode, which means uh, if you click on the layout, it will go back to the PDF view. When you click that again, you are in the editing mode. So you need to choose which layout you want. If I want to have it as a vertical paper and then four sections, um, then you can click Save. Anything you change, you need to save it. Otherwise, when you go to other page, you will lose it. So what's the um, most important part in creating a dashboard is you need to actually create a report first. So let's suppose you're trying to do a top page report. Let's use the page URL. And then you are actually in the report. Um, remember to apply uh, any segments that are needed. And select the date range, select the uh, proper uh, report suite. Select the metrics you want to use. I'm just going to leave them there. Um, then, when everything's good with your report, click on the dashboard button. This will be one piece of your report lit. So, remember here it says job a report lit here. So that's what we are creating right now. Okay, and remember to give it a name. So suppose I want to have this one. Uh, you need to select your dashboard. This is the test one. And uh, it's rolling daily. It actually depends on the date range you selected. If you make it a weekly, it will be rolling weekly. Or if you select monthly, it will be rolling monthly. OK, now let's create a new. And it says this report has been added to this dashboard. So if you can just create into that dashboard and you can close out the employee one. So right now you will have one report available in your blank dashboard. Okay, so the new report will appear here. You just need to drag it there. So when you create more reports, it will list right here and you can just drag drop anywhere you want. You can also expand this. So if I want a four page view, 
then I can expand to the full page and then you can add page by clicking here then you got another one select layout alright so here is my top page dashboard part of the dashboard you can click here to hide the graph or detail or have a max detail rows um, if I want to leave it there you can also click here to change the day range and change the rolling or fixed also you can click on this link to change the segment or report suite you can also lock report suite here so when you have multiple pages you're also able to change the report suite or date range for all the pages which is the easier way to update uh, a dashboard so after all this remember to click save always remember to click save and then let's go back to the view mode now you're seeing um, one page and another blank one then you can just go back and change it again that's how you create a dashboard very easy